Oh, oh. <clears throat> Welcome to the Theories News. I am News Captain or Captain News, and have I got news for you? In the news this week, there was a tragic incident of an egg who tried to climb up a wall, even though he had no arms or legs. Yikes. The reporter at the scene of the incident said that Eddie the egg almost reached to the top when he lost his balance and he went splat on the floor. People watching the entire scene unfold rushed to his aid, but it was too late. There was no way that Eddie the egg could be put back together. On other news, scientists have proven that oxygen is a toxic gas. Based on calculations, it is estimated that 7.8 billion people will die in the next 100 years. Professor Skrulus claims that anyone who breathes oxygen into their lungs will eventually die. So far, he has diagnosed every one of his patients with death within 80 to 100 years. Researchers are looking into the subject. The Prime Minister has been threatened to lose his job because he keeps claiming to be a transformer. In an interview with the press, he tells the people that he can change. In other news today, Seti the Sofa has been taken into police custody for stealing everything that was left on him. Children at the nearby residence phone into the local police station to report missing items like rubbers, rulers and even a 50 pence piece. When detectives arrived at the scene, Seti the Sofa was fast asleep. So they got to work to find the missing items and lo and behold, they had been eaten by Seti. When questioned, the only response Seti had was, I was hungry and that rubber looked delicious. He went on to do a massive burp. Well, he will have to do a lot of explaining to the judge after all, SETI is just a sofa. A patient has been diagnosed being addicted to soap. Researchers at the University of Seferis are looking into the matter, although most say that it is very peculiar. Many believe that this may be the beginning to a new era, but the doctors simply claim that the patient is now clean. A report has recently come in of a celebrity wedding between a blender and a pear. Billy the Blender explains, Well, when I saw Pam the pear, I knew she was the one. Even when she was about to be put into the blender, I refused to spin my blades. Pam was too lovely to be mashed up and made into a tasty dessert. What a brave blender and a very romantic one too. Pam the pear says the following, Oh my God, I was frightened of the blender. I thought, well, this is the end of me. It is all over, I am going to be smushed. But to my amazement, my wonderful hero, Billy, came to the rescue and tipped himself over. He saved my life. Well, who said that there aren't stories with happy endings anymore? Billy and Pam are now enjoying their honeymoon at the upscale DIY store in the Bahamas. Have fun, guys. In ancient times, the amazing Egyptians built pyramids that we still visit today. How on earth did they do it? Well, an ice cube and a carrot set themselves the challenge of finding out exactly how. Ian the ice cube and Courtney the carrot took it upon themselves to build their own pyramid in their garden. Unfortunately, they didn't get very far because it was a hot summer's day and Ian the ice cube was starting to melt. He had to, be, he had to pop back into his freezer to make sure he didn't completely disappear. While he was cooling off, Courtney the carrot tried her best to build the food waste into something that looked like a triangle shape, except she ended up getting lost in it. Oh dear. She tried so hard to get herself out that she made an awful fuss, so much noise her neighbours heard her screaming, so they hopped over the fence in her garden to rescue her. Well, that was the end of their pyramid for those two. However, it did end up being a lovely house for the flies to make a home in. On more national news today, police have reported that the clock tower Big Ben has gone missing for the past week. 
but they claim that they couldn't find the time to look for it. Thanks for joining us today. Over to you, Muhammad Ali, back in the studio.